Hi, I'm Gavin, but most of you probably know me as GVN. Here's a quick story of how I ended up where I am now. I grew up in a city called Derry in the north of Ireland. A small city where everybody knows everybody and a place where music culture has always thrived. I think my journey started in 2013. I became obsessed with making mixes on my phone. I always used to go out, walk around the streets with my friends and let them listen. I rarely talked about anything else except music. Then I wondered what it would be like to make my own stuff. I never owned a laptop at the time, but my sister did. Eventually, after some persuading, I was allowed to use it every now and then. Most of the time, I got told to get the laptop off because I was always on it for too long. I didn't have a clue where to start. I didn't know music theory, so YouTube tutorials were my go-to. Sitting on my bed after school, I started to make some of my own music. I used to listen back to the stuff I made and pretend I was playing it out at a big festival. I probably looked a bit mad doing it, jumping up and down, facing a wall, but it was something I was really passionate about. Later that year, I had friends who organised their own residency in a small local nightclub and they invited me to play in the second room. My first ever gig, about 10 people in that room. I was nervous, but absolutely buzzing. I was even more happy to be playing out some of my own music. Over the next year, they got me on board to join their residency. I was always a nervous person, but when I played more gigs and eventually got to play in the main room, my confidence began to grow. In 2014, I moved to Liverpool to start university. My family got me some going away presents and one of them was a laptop to help with studying. If I wasn't studying or drinking, my spare time would have been spent working on music. Fast forward to 2018. I completed my undergrad and finally graduated as a primary school teacher, which was one of the most fulfilling achievements ever. Although before I graduated, Everything took an uncalculated turn as I experienced the loss of a family member and a close friend that impacted me mentally. I had a gig during that time, but I had to make a choice between focusing on my studies or music. My family always told me to have a backup plan no matter what, so I thought it was more important to have a stable career. For the next two years, I worked as a supply teacher, going from school to school and being on call. I also worked as a waiter in a restaurant. Sometimes, if I was teaching in school, I'd have to rush back, get changed, and head straight to my waiting job. As much as I wanted to, I didn't have much time to work on music, which kind of annoyed me because I was itching for some kind of creative release. In 2020, school shut down and I was let go from my waiting job, so I opened my laptop again. I didn't have much inspiration, but I thought back to when I was younger I remember growing up and being influenced by music all the time. At family parties, I used to go straight to the room where the music was to start busting some moves. I also used to go in the car with my uncle and he always played his Ministry of Sound and Trance CDs on full volume. After thinking back to those times, I felt a sense of comfort and something just clicked. The music I was making felt more organic and meaningful than the stuff I was making for the past eight years. I finished about five or six tracks in the space of a month, but I didn't know what to do with them. Instead of sending them to labels, I decided to send some out as promos. A few weeks went by, then months, and I got no reply. I started overthinking, constantly wondering if my stuff was any good. But one day, on my lunch break in school, I got an email from Marcus Chasso. He seemed really interested in my stuff, so I thought I'd send over the rest. Then. Things snowballed in the best way. That day changed everything. It was a massive curveball and something I was never expecting. A few months later, I got my debut release on Anjuna and one of those tracks I sent to Marcus eventually became our collaboration, Take Me There. Suddenly, from thinking my music would never see the light of day, it was being supported on the radio and being played on TV. Right, new music from a new artist. Played this on the show last week, and it's so good. 
Irish producer GVN. And what about this? Derry's GVN. I've said it before, but GVN, a really exciting talent. That's GVN and Ethereal. He comes from Derry, 24 years old, and he's a supply teacher. Now, is GVN short for Gavin? You tell me. For this EP, I want to dedicate it to everyone who gave me the opportunities and wisdom that guided me to where I am now. It's always been said, but I think it's important not to lose touch with where you started off, be it a music producer or in any walk of life, as it's the key to unlocking the truest version of yourself. So I hope this EP and all my future releases express that 